Hello, 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 beautiful people. It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to just do a quick reading for you all. It's the weekend. It's the weekend. And the boys are gone. So I have a little bit of time. I just wanted to just do a quick check-in for you all. Also, I just wanted you guys to know how much I love and appreciate you all with the deck, with the monthly boxes. I have a lot of new things coming in for 2021. Yay, I'm super excited. Um, I have two new decks being released. I have an online course being released. And then the boxes, they're going to go from, um, well, you guys can still do a monthly, but I'm going to do it where you guys can do the subscription. Because I was looking at, um, like when I look at, you know, all the orders that come in, like some of you guys literally order a box every month. So I'm going to do it where you guys can, you know, pay a subscription, just get one price, like pay one price and you'll get the, um, and you'll get the, the boxes every month. No matter what comes in the boxes, it's going to be a flat, a flat rate. Let's see how, um, let's see what the energy is going to look like. Okay. Um, for you all, I don't know why I'm hearing what goes around, comes around. Regret, regret, regret. All right. I don't know. And then look, I have the Five of Swords and Nine of Pentacles. Someone was on some bullshit. Um, and you're just, you bossed up, you move on. All right, you're looking good, all type of shit. So let's see. I don't know. And this is timeless. I'm not putting a time on it. So I'm not even going to say it's a weekend reading or anything. It's a whenever you hear it reading. Okay, so let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Messages for the collective. Messages for the collective. All right, we have the Knight of Swords, Knight of Pentacles in reverse, Nine of Cups in reverse. Oh yeah, they are having regrets. The Death card, mm, Temperance, and the Eight of Wands in reverse. Well, I'll be damned. And that's crazy. I was feeling this energy before. Four of Swords, and then we have the Five of Swords. It went from the Four to the Five and the Hermit. And this is someone, you know, realizing, you know, okay, so it's like. Someone is realizing their own bullshit, okay? Someone is like, damn, like, you know, I fucked things up. And someone is trying to rush in and reconcile with you or wanting to start things over. They've been either moving very slow or to the point where you just don't even want this person anymore. Nine of Pentacles in reverse to Temperance is telling me you no longer want this reconciliation. You were waiting. But and now it's, it's to a point where, like, um, okay, baby, now it's to, um, that's baby Connor. Um, now it's like, Okay, so you see the Four of Swords here, but you see the Five of Swords. You put up with their bullshit for this way too long. But when I see the Four of Swords here, Temperance, Nine of Pentacles in reverse, it's someone that you just don't want to deal with anymore. I feel like for some of you guys, you waited, waited, waited. You wanted it, you wanted it, you wanted it. But now you're at peace and you've healed. It went from the Three to the Four of Swords. The Five of Swords also is all about change when I see the Four and Five of Swords. So in the past, when you used to argue and give in and you know, uh, feed their ego or they fed your ego or whatever. If they sent messages, you'd be like, you know what? I'm not even going to respond to them, but, or, oh, I can't wait for them to text me so I can just cuss them out, go off, whatever. It's like you said, feed into that shit. And now you're not anymore. Um, and now we have the hermit here. It could be a Virgo with this energy here. And look, we have the eight of swords in reverse. And they realize that you're over them. Like they're not on your mind as, as much as they used to be. And they're having a lot of regrets. And they're, they were trying to rush in and, you know, start something new with you because the death card can be endings that bring new beginnings with temperance here with the eight of wands reverse you're not responding the same you're not acting the same you're not giving in like you used to okay you're not you're just you're not eight of wands reverse but some of them they're gonna find out that you're booed up by LMA okay you're okay booed up and they're gonna be salty or they are salty but we're gonna see what's going on um let's see I'm gonna miss baby Connor because he about to go with his dad. Yeah. All right, let's see. Eight of Wands reverse. Eight of Wands reverse. Five of Swords. Yep. Yeah, see, you changed. You switched up. The Five of Swords. I told you guys used to argue, go back and forth with each other. You guys used to wait for each other to text or just get smart with each other. Nine of Swords. You got tired of stressing over that sleepless nights. But look, it went from the Ten of Cups to the. The two of swords and the ten of cups, and that's telling me like for a long time you didn't know where you stood with this person. Okay, 
But for some of you guys, you have new love coming in. That's someone new coming in that's taking action, that's giving you a lot of attention. But for others of you, you got tired of waiting and you just start focusing on your own happiness because we have the nine of cups reverse, someone that is emotionally dissatisfied. You're not happy, okay? And you got tired of feeling that way or you got tired of feeling like, you know, like waiting for this person. Like, do they even care? Like, do they care how I feel? So this person is definitely having a lot of regrets. Let's see. Once to this nine of cups reverse, nine of cups reverse, nine of cups reverse. Three of Wands, yeah, you moved on, okay? Yep, the Chariot, you moved on. For some of you guys, you're like, mm -mm, no more crying at night, no more crying on the pillow, no more, no, I'm not buying no more box tissues, like I'm over that crying and shit, okay? Um, yep, Knight of Wands, energy shift, okay? The Knight of Wands, to me, can be either a person or energy, and I feel like it's an energy. Also, see that you guys have new love coming in. This also can be the person that is in this reading, the Two of Cups, meaning like it's this person trying to come back new, um, but for others of you, I feel like this is new love since the separation. Queen of Pentacles, Two of Cups, and then we have the Four of Swords, Five of Wands, Reverse. Okay, so it's like your energy has definitely switched up. Okay, the Five of Wands, Reverse is telling me like at one point in time you were willing to you know compromise, give in, but now you're just like I'm not gonna be an inner conflict. I'm not gonna fight. I'm gonna lay all this shit to rest, and I'm gonna let it go. I'm not gonna let you sit up here and have me feeling and looking crazy or. You're not going to put me through this. So, a lot of you guys did switch up, okay? Temperance is here. You guys been doing some healing. You're more at peace now. For some of you guys, you have allowed yourself to forgive this person. Let's see how the Knight of Pentacles is coming up in reverse. Now, the Knight of Pentacles in reverse can be someone that's unstable, a liar, someone that's disloyal. Um, and, and it's like they want you, but they really want to work this out. But you're like, mm -mm, nope, I'm going to... And that's how I heard what goes around, comes around, regrets, regrets, regrets. Five of Pentacles reverse, yet this person is trying to come back and make things work. And then you're like, mm, yeah, no, I'm good. Four of Pentacles, yep, this is the person that is, yep, the magician. Okay, so, yep, they could have broke things off with you and walked away. For some of you guys, I don't see ghosting energy, but I feel like they kind of like ghost at you. I look at the Four of Swords, sometimes it's someone like taking a break, some time apart, it's a retreat. It can be ghosting energy as well because it's like they, they they didn't tell you why they stopped talking to you or why they needed some time or needed a break. So it's kind of like they ghosted you guys for, for some of you guys and you were in your head about this person. And you're just like, dang, out of all the stuff we went through, everything you know that we went through, I can't believe this. And you were just really stuck in your head about the situation. This same person is trying to come back, okay, and manifest some type of new beginning with you. But I don't feel like you're up for it. For some of you guys, I don't, I don't feel like you're up for it. You may be. Let's see. Are you guys up for it? Why is the magician here? For the with the king of swords and the chariot. For some of you guys, you may get this person a second chance and take them back. For others of you, it's all about action. Okay, so if their actions are showing, then yes. For others of you, you're moving forward because we have the king of swords and the chariot, and the sword is down. So I feel like you haven't told this person that you move forward yet. Meaning, like you have someone new in your life that you're moving forward with, but they don't know about it yet. But they're about to find out. So let's have the king of swords is here. The hermit. They don't know about it. Yep, see? Ooh, they're going to... Okay, so the hermit with the ten of swords, they're going to be depressed. Okay? This person's going to be depressed. They're like, fuck. They're like, I fucked up big time. Because we have the empress here and we have the three of cups. This is you celebrating your new beginning. Marriage, commitments coming in. Long-term relationship. If it's not marriage or commitment, it's like the person that's coming in is just going to be... Like, you guys are going to be together long-term. But then, for others of you, it's going to be marriage. Okay? We have justice in a higher font. And look, three of swords. You allowed yourself to forgive. Okay, you were heartbroken. You allowed yourself to forgive, and that's how you're being rewarded with this new love. See, look, as soon as I said it, look, the of swords with the will of fortune. Can't make this shit up if I tried. Um, they regret something, so let's see what they regret. I am using my new oracle deck. All right, let's see what they regret. What does this person regret? Okay, all right, so they manifested you. And what they regret is the fact that they manifested you and they're trying to come back different, but you don't want them. See, I want more, I deserve more final answer. All righty. And now you guys are gonna have this person up drinking. <laughs> I start tripping when I miss you because for some of you guys with the hermit and the 10 of swords, they may not be a drinker, maybe a smoker, okay? Or they're the type of person that they have one drink and they're just like buzzed. Or they might have a little daiquiri and be buzzed. 
okay but this person they're gonna need a drink all right are they gonna be you know drinking a little bit all right um what were they lying about because it looks like someone was lying about something what were they lying about what was this person lying about what was this person lying about Oh, wow. Okay. So in the past, they told you that they were talking to someone else. Okay. But they weren't. This person, you were their everything. You're everything they wouldn't need. And they miss your cooking. I'm hearing throwing down. I'm hearing that y'all can cook y'all ass off for some of y'all. We talking about seafood, making Chinese food, sucking, grilling, everything. You name it. Okay. And you were throwing down. They were eating good, looking good. They were even looking better when they were with you. They had their weight up and everything. All right, but this same person lied to you and told you that they um, were talking to someone else and they were still turned on by you, okay? But some of you guys cut off their friends with benefits or you just cut things off with them. Maybe they felt like, you know, you guys are still going to have sex and be intimate and still talking. You're like, nope. So let's see. So you're talking to someone else. For some of you guys, they could have been talking to someone else, but I don't, to them, they may have felt like they weren't talking to someone else because it wasn't nothing and it didn't mean nothing to them. But just because it doesn't mean nothing to them doesn't mean it didn't mean nothing to you. You know what I'm saying? So let's see. So you're talking to someone else. Yep. See the emperor reverse. You have pentacles reverse. They were, but it didn't mean anything. They could have been dealing with somebody at work. Someone look, ace of wands reverse. They weren't even really attracted to that person. The sex wasn't even good. I'll tell you that. The emperor reverse, three of pentacles reverse, ace of wands reverse. The sex was not even good. It was just a fuck. I'm just going to say that. All right. Um, ace of wands reverse. Yeah, look, they had no intentions on moving anything forward with them. Okay, making any type of offer. I feel like the person that they were dealing with um, could have lacked common sense, wasn't really smart, wasn't really thinking. It was just something quick, a good time. The emperor controlled that person. The nine of wands, five of wands, reverse, seven of pentacles. Yeah, and they knew that person would invest in them and give them what they wanted. And they felt like they had control in that situation. Uh, the emperor reverse is someone that feels like they have the upper hand or control. Okay, so let's go on to this Emperor really quick, and then we will be done. All right, let's see the Emperor Reverse, the Knight of Swords Reverse, and the King of Swords. They weren't thinking clearly, and now because they messed around with a little you-know-what and used them, that's what they get, and now they're regretting it. So for some of you guys, they were messing around with like a little neighborhood person around the way or someone that just didn't mean nothing to them. They weren't even really interested in that person. There was no passion, no chemistry. The sex wasn't good. Okay, um, what else? Sword. they were just confused and they didn't know where this relationship was going but i also feel like this person was as immature because to see this energy the emperor in reverse knight of swords reverse king of swords this is someone that is like oh yeah i got me someone new i'm with someone new but they're doing it because they don't want to feel bad due to the fact that either you cut them off and they want to deal with them or they were they wanted to break up with you before you broke up with them and now they're regretting it and now what goes around comes around and now you have someone new and you're doing better and you're looking good money's looking good you're in this new relationship where the sex is good you're happy okay you ain't with no ding ding dum dum no neighborhood no round away type you know no no somebody that's washed up and they're jealous okay four cups rejection cutting this person off or not even responding to their offer all right so that's what i have for you my loves i love you guys i love you i love you i love you be safe unexpected text messages are coming in i hope you guys have a blessed weekend all right take your spiritual bath because they've been reading your old text messages okay and they're trying to manifest you back in or they're trying to pull on your energy okay um so if you feel their energy you feel them coming towards you you just feel them. That's what that's about. All right. But take your spiritual bath and keep shining and keep evolving and growing and keep loving yourself. Remember, self-love is the best love. All right. I love you all. Bye.